Hi, it's good to have you again on another episode of the Histology Slide Series. I am a collaborator from the Academic Board of Ecamps ENTH, and I will be taking you through the slides of cartilages and bones. We will start by going through the slide of hyaline cartilage. A cartilage is formed from a highly specialized type of connective tissue. Therefore, a cartilage is made up of an extracellular matrix as well as the cells that synthesize this matrix. And this matrix is composed of a ground substance and fibers. In the case of a cartilage, the fiber we talk about is a type 2 collagen. The hyaline cartilage is composed of cells. As you can see here, these things are the cells called chondrocytes and a homogeneous matrix. Now, the chondrocytes are arranged in clusters, usually two to four cells. So you can see. So one, two, three, four. This is like a cluster of four cell, a cluster of two cells, and then these clusters are called isogenous cell groups. Now these chondrocytes are contained in a cavity in the matrix. As you can see here, this is these are cavities that are not even filled with cells, but you can see in this one you can see that there is a space which represents the cavity, and these cavities are called cartilage lacunae which are actually artificial groups, artificial gaps formed by the shrinkage of the cells during the tissue preparation. Now, the matrix of the hyaline cartilage has a glassy appearance, which you can see here. We can see that we can even see through this cut surface of the slide. And we can see that there are some cells under it to show the glassy appearance of this matrix. The appearance is actually known to be homogeneous. I mean, the appearance of the matrix is said to be homogeneous or fairly amorphous since the grass substance and the collagen fiber that makes up this particular cartilage present in the matrix have similar refractive properties. Therefore, the collagen cannot be demonstrated by light microscopy because of these similar refractive properties. So, given the appearance of the matrix, this translucent or, trans or semi translucent, translucent property, as you can see here. So what we will see mainly, we won't be able to see any interlacing network of fibers running through the matrix. What we are going to see is just the matrix appearing plain, as you can see in our slide. This slide also shows the hyaline cartilage. We can see here the chondrocytes appearing in groups, groups of two, groups of three, two. You can see these three, if I this six, this four. So they appear in this isogenous cell group. And then each chondrocyte is present in its lacuna. So you can see a lacuna with a chondrocyte. So mainly in hyaline cartilage, what we have is one cell per lacuna. Now, we also see the homogeneous appearance of the extracellular matrix between the isogenous group, appearing even semi translucent as, as the fact that we can see some of the cells that are just below this cut surface so just all we can see here all we can see here one of the characteristics to note about the hyaline cartilage is that the matrix around the cell groups tend to appear brighter and deeper in color than other areas as you can see here then you can see that it tends to appear brighter and deeper than other areas that are between these cell groups now this matrix that is surrounding the cell group is actually called the territorial matrix why on the other hand the matrix between the cell groups those are the ones that appears lighter lighter in color is actually called the interterritorial matrix this also shows a slide of the hyaline cartilage here we can see the chondrocytes present in their lacunae and then we can even see some lacunae that are not really filled with cells. Now we can identify the translucent and homogeneous appearance of the extracellular matrix with all seeing some cells behind this cut surface of the matrix. What are the reasons for education of hyaline cartilage? The glassy appearance, the presence of homogeneous and or amorphous matrix, the presence of isogenic cell group of two to four cell clusters. Now, the presence of chondrocytes in their lacunae, with each lacuna containing 
only one cell. This is another slide showing the ironing cartilage, but this time at the lower magnification, and this is the cartilage. And what is more prominent here is the characteristic homogeneous and uh, amorphous appearance of the matrix appearing this translucent. So, where can we find iodine cartilage in the body? Um, basically, iodine cartilage is found in the nasal septum, the trachea ring, the larynx, most articular surfaces, and then the sternal end of the ribs, that, that is the costal cartilage. This is another slide of the iodine cartilage. This is another variant of the iodine cartilage slide. We can see the homogeneous appearance of the matrix. This also. We move to the elastic cartilage. The elastic cartilage is also known as the yellow cartilage. Just like the iodine cartilage, it is made up of the extracellular matrix and then the cells. However, elastic cartilage is highly cellular and these cells may or may not appear in cluster. The chondrocytes appear to be larger than that of the iodine cartilage and then but here the lacuna can contain one or two cells. So as you can see here, here this is a lacuna containing one cell uh, containing two cells, this one just one cell, this one two cells. So in addition to the type 2 collagen found in the matrix of cartilages, the matrix of the elastic cartilage contains numerous bundles of branching elastin fibers. As I said before in episode 2 that elastin fibers stain black or dark purple with elastin stain. So here our elastin fibers are appearing dark at this dark network of fibers that we can see throughout the extracellular matrix. So we can see network of fibers running through this extracellular matrix, not making it not like what we saw in our iron cartilage where we have this homogeneous matrix. Here we can see fibers running through this extracellular matrix. This is also another slide of the elastic cartilage. We can see the numerous chondrocytes and then the network of fibers appearing black across the matrix between the chondrocytes as you can see here so you can see the dark appearance of fibers across this matrix and then you can even see this in this one lacuna with about two cells when stained with h and e the elastin fibers can also take up the pink stain but the network appearance and all the deep appearance of this matrix still characterizes the elastic cartilage so the huge number of cells, then the deep pink stain of the matrix, as you can see here, shows that there is a presence of a fiber with different refractive property as a grand substance, which is the elastin fiber this time around. So we can see, we can see this interlacing network of fibers around the matrix. These are stained with elastin stain. And it shows the dark appearance of the elastin fibers in the matrix of the cartilage. We should also know the numerous chondrocytes. This is another slide of the elastic cartilage. We can see the characteristic high number of cells present with the network of elastin fibers across the matrix. Now, what are the reasons for education for elastic cartilage? You can say one presence of elastin fibers in the matrix of the cartilage. Presence of numerous chondrocytes, which may or may not be in groups. Presence of chondrocytes in the lacunae, with one or two cells occupying a single lacuna. Here we can see the matrix does not look homogeneous, but appears as if there are fibers, several fibers running through it. And then we can see that most of the cells occur in singles. But with this particular lacuna having two cells, as you can see, the nuclei of the cells. Now, where can elastic cartilage be found in the body? It is mostly found in the external air, that means the penile, and the external auditory canal. It is also seen in the epiglottis and then the wall of the eustachian tube. 
This is a fiber cartilage. The fiber cartilage has features intermediate between cartilage and dense regular connective tissue. In addition to type 2 collagen seen in matrix of cartilages, fiber cartilage also possesses type 1 collagen in its matrix. This thick bundle of collagen fibers in the matrix are arranged in regular manner, just as what we can see here. You can see how they are arranged in regular manner, unlike other cartilages. The chondrocytes are located in their lacunae. You can see these chondrocytes in their lacunae. And they are arranged between the fibers. I mean, they are arranged between these collagen fibers in single or in narrow rows. So you can see this just single or narrow rows of chondrocytes present in their lacunae. So this is another slide of the fiber cartilage. Here we can see the chondrocytes present in their lacunae with matrix surrounding them. And we can also see the thick bundle of collagen fibers arranged in regular manner. Now what are the reasons for education for fiber cartilage? One presence of thick bundle of collagen fibers arranged in regular manner. Two presence of chondrocytes in their lacunae arranged in a single or narrow row. Three absence of perichondrium. Now where in the body can we find fibrocartilage? They are present mainly in the midline joints of the body, such as the pubic symphysis and then the intervertebral discs. They can also be seen in some articular cartilages. This is a slide of the compact bone. Now there are two types of bone found in the matured skeleton. You have the compact or cortical bone, which you can see here, and then the cancellous or spongy bone. Now the, com the compact bone forms the dense wall of the shaft of a long bone. And this compact bone is made up of systems called the aversion system. You can see this aversion system, this is another system, this is another system. And this system is actually called the ostium. This system is composed of a aversion canal, which is a neurovascular channel. Just as so we can see here, this one, this dark channel is the aversion canal. And then the concentric lamella. This is one lamella. This is one lamella, which is which are concentric bone layers. Now the dark stained structures, tiny structures that we can see across this place, you can see here represent the osteocytes present in their lacunae and then they are arranged in concentric rings concentric rings within the lamella this is also another slide of the compact bone but this time at a lower magnification here we can see the aversion system identified by the presence of the aversion canal and then the concentric lamella as you can see here and we can also see a canal tending to appear horizontal, joining one avician canal to another. This canal is called the Volkman Canal. Volkman spelled V-O-L-K-M-A-N-N. -N. And this is also a neurovascular bundle channel. Now, we can also, we should also note the tiny dots across the slide, representing the osteocytes in their lacunae. What are the reasons for identification for the for a compact bone? One, the presence of avician system, or we can say presence of avician canal, and then the presence of osteocytes in their lacunae. This is a slide of the spongy bone or cancellous bone. It consists of network of fine irregular bone plates called the trabeculae. And these trabeculae are separated by intercommunicating spaces. And in these spaces, most of the time, these spaces can be filled with adipose tissue, such as what we see in fatty or yellow marrow. Or it can be filled with hematopoietic cells, such as what we see in red bone marrow. Now, just as what we can see in our slide, this is the trabeculae. These ones are the trabeculae, they are bone plates. And then this is the intervening spaces, these ones. Now, in our slide, it seems to have hematopoietic cells. You can see these red, red, pinkish 
thin dots at the hematopoietic cells of the marrow and then we can also see that if they have some spaces that represent the adipose tissue. This is another slide of the spongy bone and there we can see the trabaculi staining pink. You can see the trabaculi staining pink and then the intervening spaces containing more of adipose tissue as you can recognize by the football net like appearance of this adipose tissue. You can see here football net like appearance of this adipose tissue. Now, what are the reasons for adequation of the spongy bone? One, presence of trabaculi, and then two, presence of adipose tissue or hematopoietic cells in the intervening spaces. This slide shows the growing bone or the growth plate of a long bone. Now, where can we find the growth plate of a long bone? Let's have the lower part of the long bone or the growing part of the long bone here. Then the growth plate. Then this is the area of our slide that was produced. Now this is the epiphysis and then of this growing part of the long bone. So this is epiphysis and then this is diaphysis and then this represents the growth plate. Now in our slide we can identify the zones of the growing bone. The growing bone has seven zones and then the first one is this spongy part, the spongy bone which is a which represents the epiphysis as you can identify by the presence of the trabaculae and then the intervening spaces containing the hematopoietic cells and then the adipose tissue. The next zone to this is the resting or reserve cartilage. Then the next zone to this is the, the zone of proliferation where cell division occurs. Then the next zone to this is the zone of maturation where this cell division ceases and then the Cut the chondrocytes tend to increase in size. Then the next zone to this is the zone of hypertrophy and calcification, as you can identify by the whitish appearance of this place compared to the other part of the cartilage because of the calcium deposition. Then the next zone to this is the zone of cartilage degeneration, as you can see here. Then the last zone here is the osteogenic zone or zone of mixed zone with mixed spikes now this transition zone which is the osteogenic zone is also known as the metaphysis so we can identify the seven zones of the growing bone this is where we are going to stop for today for any question or contribution comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching